sports leader nine, Alexandra Vitale. Columbus State's men and women's basketball teams are getting ready to host the Peach Belt Conference Tournament next week. And today at CSU, the Peach Belt Conference held a pre-tournament luncheon. Commissioner of the PBC, David Brunk, spoke to us about the upcoming events and why the tournament is being held at CSU for the third year in a row. Well, you know, I think really first and foremost is the uh, the support and the working relationship we have with Jay Sparks and his staff here at uh, at Columbus State, and uh, uh, you know we kind of have it down with this being the third year. Uh, we have a kind of a, a well-oiled machine, if if you will. I think from the uh, uh, sports information director uh, uh, staff and uh, uh, the rest of Jay's administrative staff. It's a, it's a real good. Uh, uh, working relationship provides an outstanding atmosphere for the student athletes and also the uh, the people that come to the to the games. Now talking a little X's and O's, the CSU Lady Cougars are currently 18 and six and are the third seed in the West Division and look to rebound against Clayton State University on Saturday. And on the men's side, they are 13 and 12 and are the fourth seed in the West Division and they play Clayton State as well on Saturday. At today's luncheon, both coaches talked about strategies going into the tournament and more. We, we keep it pretty much the same. With three days to prepare, we'll definitely throw in some wrinkles defensively and offensively. And part of it will depend on our opponent uh, and how many, how many times have we played them. Uh, it's usually once because we're playing the other side. But, uh, so we'll throw in some wrinkles and, and just try to have some new stuff in that they haven't been able to scout to see if we can steal a couple points. <laughs> oh, yeah, I told the commissioner today I should probably send Pete Herman, the coach at Young Harris, a thank you note. But, I, you know, I think our guys did a great job toward the end of the season beating uh, Montevallo over their place, the number 16 team in the country. I think that kind of solidified us at least a share to uh, get into the tournament. I thought we did a good job. And tip-off for the PBC tournament begins March 6th and ends the 9th. Now talking a little high school basketball last night, the Lady Cherokees hung tough and won in overtime last night as they hosted Greater Atlanta Christian. Kendrick had to play without their star player, Khalid Lawrence, who got into foul trouble later in the fourth quarter. Typically, Lawrence averages nearly 27 points per game, but last night it was up to her teammates to step up big, and they sure did, winning, as I mentioned, in overtime. Here's head coach Sterling Hicks on last night's game. And they did not want to lose, man. Yeah. They did not want to lose. I mean, they played with a heart over champion tonight. Um, we had some kids step up, some young kids step up and show them, you know, we're going to be forced to be working with later on also. So, I mean, I'm very proud of them tonight. We're we doing what we want to do. We want to continue playing. So, yeah. we'll take it any way we can. The Cherokees got what they wanted and will continue this Saturday when they take on Putnam County at the Lumpkin Center. That's a look at sports. Guys. All right, Alex, thank you so much. Tonight at 6, be sure to join us back here tonight for News Center 9 at 11. Of course, go to WTVM.com for much more. We will see you tonight at 11.